airless caliph requested the great and mysterious Magus I knew it to look into the future. Your dear and sweet wife has given you 17 pretty princesses, but I see, I see that your 18th child will be a boy, brave as a tiger. The grateful Caliph built a magnificent palace for his Magus I knew it. And the 18th child was a boy. Are fortune tellers for real? Yes, in fairy tales. But in real life, some people say they can see the future. They're called a Magus. But I'm a scientist, and I must be very, very cautious. I'd have to carry out a string of extremely complicated experiments. You know what? K2, I'm sure you'll pull it off. Of course I can. If you pull it off, I'll go to the park with you on Sunday. <clears throat> K2, yeah! did you see that? It's fantastic. I was sure you would. How did you guess K2 was going to score? Elliot, what do you think? Are Sierra and I going to hit it off? I don't know. I'm no fortune teller. <laughs> One day, chances are I'll be a great basketball world champion. Hey! Hey, check out what a real champion can do. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Way to go, Max. Faster. <laughs> He's gonna muck it up. What about you, Elliot? Can you do it? Uh, what do you think, Mimi? Can I do it? No, I don't think so. But you can do a lot better stuff. Oh, piece of cake. I can do lots of better stuff, Loretta. <laughs> you can? Right, show me. Uh, now? I'm out of practice, but... Okay, you'll show me tomorrow at playtime. <laughs> Who does she think she is? Oh. That's totally crazy. I'm telling you, she saw it all before it happened. Mimi is a Magus, just like the Magus I knew it. Oh, yeah. Then perhaps she can tell me if Sarah and I are going to hit it off. Yeah, right. But there are far more important things at stake, like asking Mimi what I can do to impress Loretta. Didn't you hear? I've got 24 hours. Right. But you better not ask her outright. Mimi will never tell you what she sees about Loretta. Hi! Wait for me! Those two can't stand the sight of each other. Uh, and that's when I realized that you can see the future, just like the Magus I knew it in the Thousand and One Night stories. You're going to tell us lots of things about the future. Hey, wait a sec. I don't even know if I can really do that stuff. But Mimi, if you did it back at the basketball court, you can do it again. Well, it doesn't work all the time. Besides, I don't have all of Magus I knew it's trinkets. It's crystal ball and other stuff. Hey, that's true. Magus, I knew it has tons of equipment, even a palace. That's it. I need a palace. <laughs> huh? You know, Elliot, I should have kept my mouth shut. The nerve of a palace. Why not a banquet and dancers while she's at it? <sighs> not bad. But what about the banquet and dancers? Mm -hmm. to know what I must do to impress Loretta. Oh. Remember what I told you. But how am I supposed to ask about Loretta without saying her name? <clears throat> I'll help you. The trick is to ask her the really right questions. Oh. So, tell me, oh great Magus Mimi, what you must call it, what will the weather be like on Sunday? The weather? Well, why don't you check the weather report? Hey, she's hard to trick. Huh? Are these your really right questions? Trust me. Concentrate, Mimi. Listen to me and keep looking straight into my eyes. Oh, I can't do all that at the same time. Besides, I'm not used to my new glasses yet. You've got new glasses? You've noticed. With these glasses, I look just like a star. Hmm? Ugh. I just finished the game. Here we go. Don't move. Perfect. Come on. 
what the weather will be like on Sunday. I've got a date with Sarah in the park. Thanks to her new glasses. Oh. Hey, got them. Huh? They're filthy. I'll clean them for you. Where is he off to with my glasses? Don't worry. I'll be back with your glasses in a sec, Mimi. Hey, wait for me. Oh. Elliot! Take care! Mimi, are you all right? <laughs> uh, give them to me. I discovered they were magic. Yes, but I found them. I want to know about Sierra and me. No! Oh. Where are those two clowns? Huh? huh? If you two are behind this, you're in big trouble. We found your glasses, but uh, they're sort of a bit broken. Dad, I <gasps> my glasses. So, Elliot, you've been at it again. More of your mischief? Mom, go to your room and stay there until I tell you otherwise. Mm. Elliot, are you there? Mimi! Of course not. You lost your glasses. I don't see what my glasses have got to do with it. Mimi, hurry up! <laughs> Elliot, I'm off with Mimi and her dad to get Mimi a new pair of glasses. You're still punished. Dad is in his office. Hmm. Follow me, K2. That's my mom's car. She's taking Mimi to get new glasses. Fantastic. We can grab her new magic glasses. Huh? <gasps> Your worries end here. I always keep a spare pair of this model of glasses just in case. You're lucky to have such nice parents, Mimi, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And you? Same here. Oh, these glasses aren't magic. This is perfect. What an idea to break such lovely glasses. <laughs> the magic glasses. We've got to create a diversion. I'll take care of that. Magic glasses now! Doing. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah! Please tell me I'm dreaming. Uh oh. Is that you, Elliot? And Elliot, punished doesn't mean I leave my room as soon as Mom's back is turned. Now I want you to apologize to Mimi. Sorry, Sorry Mimi. Mimi. That's better. It's not our fault. We thought your glasses were magic. It's me because I knew it's fault. He has thick glasses and... Yeah, and he's an optician too. But with the other glasses in the shop, you can't see the future. You mean to say my glasses see the future? Well, no, we got it wrong. It's not the glasses. Whatever. All I see is that you tried to pinch my glasses that don't even see the future. Yes, but we said we're sorry. Huh, so you did. But that means if it's not the glasses, it means that it was me who... Yeah, you've sort of got the future science inside. Come on, Mimi, won't you please give us a couple of predictions? All right, after you've been in my palace. <laughs> Good job, boys, that was quick. How about another dance? Mimi! Mimi. Let's see what I see. Ah. Hmm. 
remember, back at the basketball court when Lur... I told you not to ask about Loretta. Leave this one to me. Oh, great Mimi Magus, what you call it? I'm listening. Will I get to be a basketball champion? <clears throat> uh, you know, um, that blonde girl in our class, will she get a good grade in arithmetic? I see. I see. And for Sarah and I, what can you tell? Let her answer. I see that soon I'll see the future. I'll become the greatest Magus in the whole world. in my neighborhood will appear with his unruly hair and fantastic t-shirt with green stripes and... Uh, and uh, what do you see me doing? That's just it, Elliot! I see! That happiness will soon be revealed to you! All will be revealed by means of a magic kiss your beloved will bestow upon you! Wow! Does it make any sense to you? Perfect sense. Now I know what I've got to do to impress Loretta. Great! He got it all wrong. You know, Elliot, there's no way of knowing if Mimi's predictions work every time. Hey, Loretta, don't let Elliot fool you. I know what he wants to do to impress you. I've already done it 50 times at least. 50 times? Uh, what is it then? Um, uh, uh... Right, Elliot, are you going to show me that much better thing you can do? <sighs> doesn't always work. Oh, forget it, K2. Mimi, you're the worst Magus ever. So you've done it 50 times already, have you? No, well, I... Well, I'm, I'm... 